He likes things that are very high pitched and have very odd, like chipmunks. They are parents who work twice as hard as most to provide for their special needs children. Seven-year-old Bennett Curran is an autistic special needs student in a school system now built largely around charter schools designed for academic achievement. But at what cost? They were looking through my application, and when they came to the IEP, they looked down and said, oh, I assume this was a gifted, talented IEP. There are 4,500 special needs students in Orleans Parish, and there's growing evidence that the system hasn't been doing a good enough job. A recent lawsuit alleges that the graduation rate of special needs students in Orleans Parish is just a third of the state's graduation rate for special needs students. We need all an all children approach to educating our children and to education reform in this city and in this state. Both Orleans Parish and recovery schools teach fewer special needs students than the rest of the state. As of February of last year, according to a new report by the Louisiana Appleseed Project, the state's special needs population was over 12 percent, while the recovery school district had just 8.5 percent, and the Orleans Parish School Board had students with special needs of just 5.5 percent. When I learned that Bennett was being left behind while the other kids participated in music with the general ed on the second floor, I, I, I knew that wasn't right. Some parents never came back to New Orleans after Katrina. That's because they found special needs education better in places like Texas and Georgia, places they relocated after the storm. I know one parent who went across the lake to St. Tammany. They moved out of Orleans Parish. Others say they and their children are being barred at the door. When I would explain to them that our child Walker has a form of autism, and would require these kind of classroom supports, oh, well, we don't do that. Penny Curran says many charter schools and their educators are indifferent to special needs. Basically, Orange Parish says, we can no longer accommodate your child. You need to go look in RSD and the charters to find a school. So we felt like we were just left in the dark. Repeated special needs complaints in Orleans Parish recently prompted the Southern Poverty Law Center to file suit in federal court against the State Department of Education on behalf of 13 special needs students. One of our named petitioners is a, is a mother um, whose child is both blind and autistic and um, was turned away from multiple schools trying to enroll. Um, she was also in the school that she was finally um, accepted in. Um, uh, during the 2009-10 school year, she, they were not provided with any sort of uh, orientation and mobility services, which is pretty standard for a child that has visual impairment. Um, she was actually forced to attend school every day with her child in order to help her child navigate the hallways. Special needs parents say the problem is being made worse, ironically, by the academic success of the Orleans charter school system. I do feel that some of them may be in competition on who can be ranked the highest, what school has the highest scores which limit children who have special needs. Advocacy groups say in the rush to reopen schools, there are a myriad of accessibility issues and admission issues that aren't being addressed. I mean, it was bad enough before, but when you create this, this multi-systemic issue of charter schools, uh, all these different systems, and they all want to do their own thing, um, then there is no system anymore. There's only actors inside doing their own thing. Parents of some special needs children say the education their kids receive is directly proportionate to just how hard they push. There's no reason I should know these laws better than them. They should be telling us. And many worry about the children of parents who don't get involved. This doesn't have to be a choice between quality education and serving students with disabilities. You can do both. RSD school chief Paul Vallis bristles at the criticism, saying many special needs students aren't included in the count because they're being mainstreamed in a system that doesn't want to segregate special needs students at the same rate as done in the past. I'll tell defy anyone to take a district that had no special education system and had zero IEPs and then to quickly build as effective a system as we have built, and that's what we've done. Special needs advocates say this is not a funding issue. They say federal dollars are available to assist schools in staffing for special needs students. 
but millions often go unused. Typically, a lot of districts do end up, and this is statewide, um, do end up returning some of the unspent IDEA money that they receive. Recovery School District has failed us and failed our children. Some parents have moved on. Gotta hold it. And others are sticking with Orleans Parish, which, though resistant at first, appears to be working for some. We'll take a look at the options later in this newscast. Rob Masson, Fox 8 News.